What's up guys, Quizzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you guys how to make some cool 3D text for Photoshop uh, without using the 3D uh, tab here. Um, this is it takes a little bit, but once you get it down you, you kind of go through this quickly. Uh, and if you have the right font it, it won't be too bad of a process. But yeah, so you can create a bunch of different variations of this 3D text. Like, there's a lot of cool things you can, you can do. But due to time constraints, I'm going to only show you, like, this way. But, uh, of course, you can make the 3D effect kind of shift left or shift right, up, down, whatever. This is kind of, like, going, like, it's facing upwards, kind of, because the backdrop is down. And it's kind of, like, in the middle and going outwards slightly, uh, if you guys understand what I mean. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, and I'm going to be showing you my techniques and how I use this so you can create variations of your own and create really cool text uh, and stuff like that. So let's get into this. So I'm just going to close out of that and I'm going to go to File, New. And I'm just going to use a 1280 by 720 document. Um, of course, you could just do this in your banner template uh, that works. Um, just gonna go ahead and do this. Unlock that layer by double clicking. All right, so I'm gonna go to my text tool. Obviously, I'm gonna go with black, and I'm just gonna type R. So that's like a variation, like that's like a abbreviation for tutorial. It's kind of a stupid way to do it if you were to abbreviate it, but whatever. And I'm gonna go 200 size, and I'm gonna use ghost writer movie regular font uh, that's a font I, I kind of like to use and I'm actually gonna bump up the size to maybe 230 just type a little more to work with all right and then first thing you're gonna want to do is duplicate this by control J and sorry if there's like a flickering in the background I know that might get annoying uh, but yeah so command J duplicate it uh, go to the bottom layer and you're gonna want to go to text tool again select it and just change the color I'm just gonna go with a medium gray um, and actually that was the one below it and I'm gonna drag that layer below and click hold shift and drag down a little bit so there's just like a little bit of space in between the letters or however deep like however you want the depth that's how you should adjust it so this will be like the back or as far as it goes so if you want it like really long bring it down uh, or whatever um, so I'm just gonna go like right there and then control T to transform it Con hit shift and alt if you're on PC uh, actually it's the same thing if you're on Mac too I believe but uh, we're gonna shift this inwards a little bit and if you want it really long you kind of want to go shorter but that's pretty hard to do in Photoshop um, or it's a lot of more work I should say it's not necessarily harder but we're gonna go like that and I'm actually gonna bump these up a little bit because it's quite long okay like that and I'm gonna right click the bottom layer so the gray layer and rasterize type and then I'm gonna create a new layer above that so this new layer is in between the two text layers we have and I'm gonna select the pen tool and I'm gonna zoom in on the first letter so T and then I'm just gonna fill in these gaps so if my screen stopped doing that stupid flickering thing that'd be nice um, so I'm gonna go around like this and I'll speed this part up so you guys don't have to watch me do this but you basically go throughout all of your letters and make it have the 3d look so you just go from corner to corner so you simply just match up the corners with their partner so as you can see this is the same corner as that you just connect them if you understand uh, but yeah um, so once you do that you get your outline uh, right click uh, fill path and we're gonna go to color and we're gonna select that gray and there we go and now you just repeat that throughout so I'll speed that up now
Okay, there we go. As you can see, we filled in all the spots and a little tricky spot here is usually this rounded U part. Um, you just have to play with it and keep adding uh, little spots here till it looks pretty good. I feel like this is all right. Um, probably could have done a little better, but <clears throat> it's good enough, I think. So you can just play with the curves until you get it right. Um, it, it really won't matter in the final outcome because you really don't notice minute things like that, but yeah So uh, we're gonna take that layer that we just uh, worked on uh, We're gonna right click it and merge down so it merges with the layer below it and Now we're gonna add some shadowing to it, but first we kind of want to establish what kind of color we're gonna do So I'm thinking I'm gonna roll with a blue on top here so I'm just gonna change the color of this for now to uh, like a medium gray like that some color in it so that has a bit of red in it just a tad and I'm gonna go here double click on the, the layer bring up the blending options go to color overlay and we're gonna pick a dark gray maybe not quite that dark in between there all right like that click OK OK and then right click and rasterize that layer style all right, so we're gonna create a new layer above that. So again, the layer is in between our two text layers. We're gonna right click on it and create a clipping mask. We're gonna go to the brush tool and you just wanna adjust the size. So I'm gonna roll with that so it's about like half the size, like, or the full size of like the, the beam here, the backing. And you're gonna use about a quarter of that brush then to shade it in, which is what we're gonna do next. So you kinda wanna just fill in the back portions so on this T it'd be like there there throughout the back here and down the side and then don't want it there so actually I kind of do there we go and then again hold shift if you need to be more precise and just continue this process throughout. And again, I'm gonna speed it up here for a little bit. All right, there we go. So we got most of the uh, shading in here. I'm actually gonna put the R a little more in there. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, we got some nice shading here work on that okay and then we're just gonna set that to overlay and if it's too pronounced too dark you can bring down the opacity a little bit so like that and we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna again right click it create clip clipping mask and this time we're gonna use white and we're gonna do the highlights so basically you just do the opposite side of where you have the shadows um, Go away. Um, so like right here, here, and always adjust the brush size so you got a kind of even, evenish coat. Let me fix this. It's too bright. Well, that's good enough. Tutorial sake, I'm gonna kind of speed it up, but yeah. So you just mess with it, mess around with this kind of stuff. Hold and shift, go down. A little too much, and uh, I'll speed it up now so you guys don't have to watch this again. Okay, there we go. Uh, got the um, highlights in and crap. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna increase these ones a little bit. Shoot. There we go. Raise this a little bit. And okay. And then again, we're gonna set that to overlay like that and usually this one looks pretty good you don't have to adjust the opacity but in case you do you just bring it down a little bit um, 
gonna keep it in like the 90s that works so you get pretty good depth right there so that's looking all all good and we're basically done with that for now so now we're gonna go to the top layer and um, there's a few things you need to know about this layer if you rasterize this layer uh, it'll kind of take away some quality when you like uh, turn it put it on angles and stuff like that um, unless you turn it then rasterize it then it'll look alright if you rasterize it it'll kind of diminish the blurriness but I like to rasterize it anyway because I don't really care so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a layer style that I like and I believe yeah I don't have any layer style saved on to this uh, Photoshop which I'm using Photoshop CC 2014 um, so let me load in some brushes real quick okay so I have my layer styles here which is, is my layer styles pack in my store if you want to purchase it you can go check that out um, and I went with the green lines layer style so this is what this looks like um, so if you want this you can buy it from my store if not just use some of your layer styles or anyone else's you've purchased uh, these are only two dollars in my store if you want to check that out though um, so I have this set up and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rasterize the layer style so boom there we go and then I like to add a drop shadow so I'm gonna go to drop shadow decrease the opacity uh, the distance put the zero um, and opacity still kind of a lot put it down alright like 23 uh, check off use global light because uh, that's stupid uh, you can adjust the size I guess I'll keep it at five. Okay, so we get a little more depth with that, and uh, then I'm gonna uh, create a layer above that. Right click, create a clipping mask, and now there's a bunch of different ways you can do cool glares and things on this. Uh, my way is the wave way, which is pretty cool. Um, you can use it if you want, you don't have to, you can use your own way, you can just use a straight line, that works as well. Um, but you kind of do a little wavy thing, and uh, I'll go I'll go on the top this time. Last time I went on the bottom, uh, and we're gonna right click fill path, and we're gonna use white. Click OK, right click delete path, and let's just see what overlay looks like. Really freaking bright. Actually, I'm gonna set this to normal. Fill the zero, and I'm gonna put an inner shadow in it, and create a cool like, cool like dimple-ish thing here. And if I wanted to, I could duplicate this. Right click, create a clip mask. Shoot. Uh, go with the arrow to tool, drag it up, and you kind of get cool layers like this. Which, if you guys remember composited style a while ago, this is kind of what it was, except this was a, he did in Cinema 4D. This is kind of like a mock of that. But uh, since this top text is really bright, I don't want to add a white overlay, but theoretically, you could have like a white fill here, brighten it up a little bit if it was like a darker color or something. I'm not going to do that because that won't look good on this sort of text. Um, and then let's go back to the bottom portion of this. So, this back portion, we want to select that and its clipping masks right click and we're gonna merge those layers and then we're gonna select the top layers here and we're gonna right click and we're gonna merge those layers as well um, and then we're gonna go to the bottom layer here so this is the back and I like to add a cool pattern or something on it just cuz it gives it some like texture which looks cool and I, again I don't have patterns in here uh, but you could probably just actually grab a texture so let me see if, if I have a pack right here um, I have my every, uh, where's my textures though, I have some cool text right here. Okay, there should be a cool texture of some sort of new. Um, let me just snag one right now. Okay, wherever the mouse lands. Sure. Alright, right click that in, right click. Create clip mask. This is really big. Control Alt, scale it down. Wait, okay, got it. Get on. 
I'm gonna just do one of these. And I'm gonna right click and rasterize this layer. And I'm gonna put it on overlay. There we go. So we got some cool textures in there. And we're gonna just lower the opacity. So boom. So it's, it's kind of textured. You can't really see it. Um, but yeah, it's there. Um, and it just adds for cool effect. Kind of gives it a rocky ish type of look, I guess you could say. Um, and finally, we're just going to merge all the layers then, minus the background layer, and add a simple drop shadow. Um, I like to go no distance, increase the spread a little bit, and decrease the opacity a little bit. And boom, there's some 3D text to be used for a thumbnail, a banner, a poster, whatever you're doing. And in this case, we can do a control U and change the hue of it to change the color. Um, in this case of the layer style. So blue would probably look pretty cool. Yeah, okay, so yeah. There you, guys, there you go guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, 100 likes. And uh, actually I don't, 100 likes would just be great. I don't really have a file for it to put in here because there's no template that I can really use in this case. But yeah, 100 likes would be great. Uh, Again, if you want the Layer Styles Pack, it's in my store. Check out all the other items in my store um, if you're interested. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.